Hello friends, it's me, Andrea, and this is Andy's Corner. And I'm so glad that you joined me today, because today we're reading a pretty silly story called Amelia Bedelia and the Surprise Shower by Peggy Parrish. There was a knock at the on the back door. Coming, coming, called Amelia Bedelia. She opened the door. Oh, it's you, Cousin Alkaloo, she said. Do come in. Mrs. Rogers asked me to help out today, said Alkaloo. Is she having a party or something? Every Tuesday, said Amelia Bedelia. Some ladies get together. They just sew and talk. But today, Miss Alma is in for a real surprise. Those other ladies are giving Miss Alma a shower. A shower, said Alkaloo. A surprise shower, said Amelia Bedelia. Now why would they do that to her, asked Alkaloo. Miss Alma is nice. I don't know, said Amelia Bedelia. She's about to get married. They should do something nice for her. She can give herself a shower. Your folks do have funny ways, said Alkaloo. Say, are you cooking something? My cupcakes, said Amelia Bedelia. She ran to the oven. Just right, she said. They need to cool a bit, then I will ice them. Mr. Rogers came in. Good morning, Amelia Bedelia. Good morning, Alkaloo, said Mr. Rogers. Why, what a nice lot of fish, said Amelia Bedelia. They should taste good, said Mr. Rogers. Please scale them and ice them. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Say, Mr. Rogers, did you ever hear of giving somebody a surprise shower? Oh, yes, said Mr. Rogers. It is like a surprise party, and they shower the person with gifts. That is why they call it a shower. Mr. Rogers looked at his watch. I have to go to town, he said. Mr. Rogers left the kitchen. By the way, Amelia Bedelia, said Alkaloo, Mrs. Rogers told me to prune the hedge. Could you show me how? I would be glad to, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the cupboard. She took out a box of prunes. Amelia Bedelia and Alkaloo went to the hedge. Now, she said, Amelia Bedelia, you take a prune, then stick it on like this. Is that all there is to it? asked Alkaloo. Prune it well, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers likes things done well. Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. Oh, I plum forgot my cupcakes, she said. And I must make that chocolate icing. Amelia Bedelia put some of this and a little bit of that in a big pot. She stirred and she stirred. Then she tasted the icing. Just right, she said. Amelia Bedelia began to ice her cakes. The fish, she said. Mr. Rogers said to scale them and ice them. Amelia Bedelia got the scales. She piled the fish on them. There, she said. You just scale yourself while I ice the cakes. And Amelia Bedelia iced her cakes. Those do look nice, she said. And there's enough icing left to ice the fish, too. Amelia Bedelia picked up a fish by its tail. I hope you have scaled long enough, she said. She iced one side of the fish. Then she iced the other side. Amelia Bedelia worked until the last fish was iced. That takes care of you, she said. Amelia Bedelia put the iced fish and the ice cakes in the cupboard. Do you think that Mr. Rogers wanted her to put chocolate icing on the fish? That's weird. What do you think? Miss Rogers came into the kitchen. Amelia Bedelia, use this tablecloth for the table, she said. Do run over it first with an iron. And we need some cut flowers, said Mrs. Rogers. She went out the back door. Amelia Bedelia unfolded the tablecloth. She put it on the floor. 
Then Amelia Bedelia got the iron, and she ran all over that tablecloth. I don't think that's what M Mrs. Rogers meant. Amelia Bedelia put the tablecloth on the table. Alkaloo came over to Amelia Bedelia. That takes care of that, he said. I even had some prunes left, so I pruned the other bushes too. That does look nice, she said. Mrs. Rogers will be mighty pleased. He put prunes on the bush. I don't think that's what she meant either. These people. Amelia Bedelia and Alkaloo met Mrs. Rogers at the back door. Mrs. Rogers came in with a bunch of flowers. She put them on the kitchen table. Amelia Bedelia, she said, use a large silver bowl for the cut flowers. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers left the kitchen. I don't think she should leave the kitchen because every time she leaves, something happens. She came right back with a basket of gifts. These are for Miss Alma's shower, she said. We will start sewing as we always do. Then when all the ladies are here, we will say, surprise. Then come to the shower. Can you and Alkaloo take care of everything? Oh, yes, said Amelia Bedelia. We will see to everything. These flowers are so pretty, said Amelia Bedelia. It's a shame to cut them. She said cut flowers, said Alkaloo. Let me help you. So Amelia Bedelia and Alkaloo fixed a bowl of cut flowers. We do have some figuring out to do, she said. I thought those ladies were supposed to be giving this shower, and here we are giving it. If we had known, said Alkaloo, we could have fixed up something fancy. It's too late for that now, said Amelia Bedelia. The two of them went outside. Amelia Bedelia saw the garden hose. Think that will do? asked Alkaloo. Well, it's not really a shower, said Amelia Bedelia, but it's the next best thing. I will give her the gifts and then you can shower her. The gifts will get wet, said Alkaloo. They are shower gifts, said Amelia Bedelia. What if they do get wet? We will get wet too. Well, said Alkaloo, we can put on something else. What a good idea, said Amelia Bedelia. Hide those gifts first, said Alkaloo. Amelia Bedelia hid the basket of gifts under some bushes. It is time to get ready, she said. Now, I'm afraid that they might wet this lady with the hose. I don't think that's the shower they're talking about. <sighs> Let's see what happens. A bit later, Amelia Bedelia heard a card stop. Here comes the lady, she called to Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried out to meet them. Mrs. Ralph came first, and with her came four children. Look, they shouted. Prunes on the hedge. The children went racing past. More and more ladies came. They began to sew. But Miss Alma did not come. Where is Miss Alma? Everybody asked. But nobody knew. Mrs. Rogers looked at the table. Footprints, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia, what did you do to that tablecloth? I ran over it with an iron, said Amelia Bedelia. Should I have taken my shoes off first? Oh, never mind, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia, where are the cut flowers, she asked. Oh my, said Amelia Bedelia, I forgot them. Amelia Bedelia ran in and got the flowers. Mrs. Rogers looked at the bowl. Amelia Bedelia, she cried. What did you do to those flowers? I cut them, said Amelia Bedelia. You said to fix a bowl of cut flowers. Just then, Miss Alma drove up. Here she is, said the ladies. Sorry to be late, said Miss Alma, but I have a headache. I'm sorry, said Mrs. Rogers. You just sit down. Mrs. Rogers turned to Amelia Bedelia. Are you ready for the shower? She asked. We will need a minute or two, said Amelia Bedelia. 
She called Alkaloo. They went round back. And there stood Amelia Bedelia and Alkaloo in bathing suits. All right, called Amelia Bedelia. We are ready. Then all the ladies shouted, Surprise! Surprise! shouted Amelia Bedelia. She ran out with the gifts and dumped them on Mrs. Alma's lap. Here are the gifts, she said. Alkaloo came right behind her with the hose. And here is a shower, he shouted. Oh no! Look! They sprayed her and all the gifts. A shower! A shower! screamed Mrs. Ralph's four children. They jumped into the shower with, with Miss Alma. All the ladies screamed too, and they jumped out of the shower. Miss Alma leaped up. Her gifts flew all over the place. How dare you! she shouted. Miss Alma was angry. She was very angry. Amelia Bedelia! Alcalo! shouted Mrs. Rogers. Turn off that water this minute. Amelia Bedelia and Alkalu turned off the water. Did you see how mad Miss Alma was? asked Alkalu. I don't think she liked our shower, said Amelia Bedelia. Maybe some hot tea will help her. Amelia Bedelia and Alkalu went into the kitchen. I'll take care of the tea things, said Amelia Bedelia. You bring the cupcakes. Here is the tea, said Amelia Bedelia. Thank goodness for that, said Mrs. Rogers. Hmm, that chocolate looks good, said Mrs. Ralph. Help yourself, said Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Ralph helped herself to the biggest piece. She took her fork. Mrs. Ralph tried to cut it, but it would not cut. And Mrs. Ralph wanted that chocolate. Do you guys remember what that was? It was a fish! Ugh! Chocolate-covered fish! So she picked it up and bit it. Ugh! She screamed, Fish! Raw fish! Mrs. Ralph was angry. She was very angry. Mr. Rogers came out just then. He heard what Mrs. Ralph said. Fish! He shouted. Amelia Bedelia! What did you do to my fish? Iced them, said Amelia Bedelia. Now Mr. Rogers was angry too. Suddenly, Miss Alma started laughing. Everybody looked at her. She jumped up and threw her arms around Amelia Bedelia. You are wonderful, said Miss Alma. My headache is all gone. That surprise shower was just what I needed. Then Mrs. Ralph laughed. Amelia Bedelia, she asked, did you prune the hedge? Cousin Alkaloo did that, said Amelia Bedelia. Then he is wonderful too, said Mrs. Ralph. See how happy my children are. They have never been this good. And suddenly everybody was laughing. Mrs. Rogers began to pour the tea. Amelia Bedelia served the chocolate cupcakes, and the lady said they were the best cakes they had ever eaten. That was so much fun, said all the ladies, and they laughed some more. Then they helped pick up Miss Alma's gifts. And they were still laughing when they left. Well, I am glad that turned out okay. I think Amelia Bedelia really doesn't know how to follow instructions or she follows them too well and does exactly what they say but not understanding what they want. That's crazy! Well, I'm so glad you joined me today and I hope to see you again. See you later! Bye!